Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario. I hear Belisario Sonic YouTube channel. It's been a little while since I've made a video. Today's going to be kind of a rant video because I'm pretty upset about the last four purchases that I've made on eBay with records. So I'm going to get to that in just a moment. Uh, also, I've been working on a jazz documentary project. And if you go to the link below, it's called Real Jazz Now. We're just throwing up little clips of a jam session that, that, that uh, I'm getting a lot of material from. And uh, I am working on an actual jazz documentary with about four or five other people. So hopefully uh, around this summer, hopefully going to have this documentary done on keeping jazz alive here in Birmingham, Alabama. So more about that to come. Uh, I've been buying quite a few records on, on eBay. And I've probably bought over the last month, maybe eight records. In the last four in a row that I've got that were all, the record itself was supposed to be near mint have all been far from near mint. So I wanna to talk today briefly about buying records on eBay and talk about grading records. And I'm gonna primarily focus on, on, the, on the actual record itself rather than the cover, uh, because that's what I, when I'm buying a record, I'm not so much as worried about the cover as I am about how it plays because I buy the record to listen to it. So then while it is important on the, the, the uh, grading of the cover, today I just want to talk about record, the record itself, grading the actual playable disc. Now, this I bought was supposed to be a near mint record. There it might be hard to see here in this light, but there are scratches all over this record. And it plays with little clicks and pops throughout the whole record. So for all of you on eBay selling records, that's not a near mint record. Uh, I'm, it's, I'm really getting aggravated and I'm probably not going to be buying too many more records on eBay just because I keep having this problem over and over. And while I usually get, they, they refund me or they give me a credit, full credit back, or I'm able to return it, whatever it is, it's way too much hassle. If people just can't grade records, this is very simple. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to grade records. If it doesn't look like it's brand new, it's not mint. Okay. And it's not near mint. So just for the record, a mint record's brand new, still in the wrapper, still sealed. That's a mint record. Near mint is, looks like it came out of a retail store and was taken out of the sleeve for the first time. There are no visible defects on a near mint record. And again, I'm trying to show you this. It's probably hard to see in this light, but there are plenty of, of scratches all over this record and it plays, you can hear the pop, pop, pop going around. Not near mint by far. This probably plays like a very good and very good plus. Um, probably like a very good record throughout it. I mean, it just, it pops and clicks throughout the whole thing. And you've got visible scratches on it. So let's just talk a little bit about record grading and how important it is when someone's buying a record, especially like me, I'm buying the record to listen to it. If it's near mint, I better take it out of the sleeve and it better not have any scratches on it. I don't, shouldn't see any marks on it. When I play it, it should play perfect. That's a near mint record. Okay. Um, very good plus or what other people, some people call excellent. Those are one and the same. Very good plus or excellent. So except for a couple of minor things, this is off gold mine. This would be near mint. Most collectors, especially those who want to play their records, will be happy with a very good plus record, especially if it's the high end of the grade, sometimes it's called very good plus plus or excellent plus. So the reason why I always buy near mint, mint, mint minus records on eBay is for the very fact that they're never near mint. I'm, I, I, in other words, when I buy, if I buy a near mint record and it comes as a very good plus, sometimes I'll let it slide because it should play almost perfect. Maybe with a little pop here, a little this there, you might see a very little surface scratch. That's it. So it, this, the record grading system is like off by like two scales all on eBay. Like people are, are telling me that it's near mint. It's really a very good record. So let me tell you what a very good record is. Very good is very, very uh, many of the imperfections found on a very good plus record are more obvious on a very good record. Very good records usually sell no more than 25% of a near, mirror, near mint record, um, and they'll have more pronounced flaws, okay? You're going to have less gloss. You're going to have light scratches. 
Some might be deep enough to feel with your fingernail. When played, they will be audible, especially in soft passages or during the intros or the endings, but the noise will not overpower the music otherwise. So listen to that. A very good record, which goes for like 25% of the highest price that you would usually get, should play with just a minor amount of noise that you'll hear in the quiet spots and maybe a little pop or crackle here. That's it. That's a very good record. Shouldn't be clop, plop, clop, clop, click, pop, crackle all the way throughout the record. That's not a very good record either. This is ridiculous. Buying on eBay, I'll tell you, I am, I am like done. I'm really done. Um, and then when you get down to the good record, it's going to be, it'll still play without skipping. A good record should still play without skipping. So let, let me, let's take a look at this. A good record, very good minus record. They go for 10 to 15% of the near mint value if you're lucky. Um, but it should also, even though it will play with heavy wear and you'll hear pop, pop, crackle, crackle throughout, it still shouldn't skip. The record plays through without skipping. That's a good record. That's right here. That's, that's gold mine. So if it has any skips in it, then it goes into the poor section. It's not worth anything. Maybe the, unless the cover. Okay, someone wants to buy it for the cover. And I'll tell you, the, the pricing today is, is ridiculous with some of these record stores too. I go in, they are, the, the, the record, it looks like it got drugged behind a car. And in mint, near mint condition, it might go for 20 bucks. They're selling it for like $15, $10. And it's a piece of trash record. And the covers might be so-so, might be in very good, very good plus. So that, that's my experience lately, buying records on eBay. I'm, I'm really disappointed. Um, and, and really, I'm just, I'm almost going to give up on buying it unless I see something I really want. And I might even email the person before I even buy it and say, is this really in near mint condition? Because I'm telling you, I don't buy anything on eBay anymore unless it says near mint or mint minus on there. And I'm not getting that near that quality. I'm getting very goods and very good pluses, maybe. Uh, most of them are very good, just like the one I bought here that pops and crackles throughout and has surface noise all throughout it. And you got light scratches throughout the whole thing. Sorry, that it's not even close to near mint. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty upset about that. So I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. Leave your comments. What, what have you guys been experiencing out there buying records on eBay? I'm really just fed up with it and uh, sick to my stomach over it. I just got through sending another email for this record that I bought today, um, which is this Lambert uh, Hendrix and Ross record. And again, I didn't buy it for the cover. The cover's, you know, in like a very good uh, maybe, maybe a very good condition. It's got a lot of wear on it, you know, but I wasn't buying it for the cover. I was buying it to listen to. So I can, it's like, okay, they wanted, I think I paid 15 for this record, which total with shipping. It's like $12.99 I paid for this. It's not worth $12.99. This is like a three or $4 record uh, with the shape that the record's in and, and that. So I'm, I'm pretty upset about it. And I just want to make a video Hopefully I have more positive videos coming here soon. I want to try to get back into making more videos. I've got a lot of new records that I've bought that I want to share with you. Uh, so I'll have that coming up. So take care and we'll talk to you later on.